I come from a landlocked part of Australia. I actually grew up living on, on top of a hill and we had uh, little ponds up there. And I learnt about boats by playing around with models. I, and I hadn't been brought up in a sailing family or exposed to sailing before. And so the shapes of, of these models I used to build, I would try everything that my mind could think of without having anyone tell me that's what it should look like. The Sail Rocket Project believes it can overcome many of the existing barriers to sailing speed and win back the title of world's fastest sailing boat from Hydroptair. Its unique design has its origins in a revolutionary but obscure text written over 50 years ago by scientist Bernard Smith. When I saw this dusty old book and it said the 40 knot sailboat, I was wondering what a, what a book that old was talking about what they thought that a 40 knot sailboat would look like. And on the other side of the world, an English engineer was also discovering Smith's pioneering theories. I arrived at the pond with one of my old, old style models, and at the other end of this 800 foot pond, I saw this little sail dart across the water, and I thought, whatever that guy's got, I want one. And it turns out he had built a model of a Werner Smith type boat. For speed sailing, I've never since then looked at another concept. In 2008, Vesta's Sail Rocket 1 set a then record of 47.31 knots. As Bernard Smith's research predicted, efficiency through the air was as critical as performance through the water in the quest for boat speed. Most often when we talk about boats, everyone thinks about a waterborne craft that sticks something in the air to catch the wind. This could equally be seen as an aeroplane that touches the water. One of the design specifications for this boat is that in an extraordinary circumstance where it finds itself in mid-air travelling at very high speed, it must be able to glide back into the water and carry on sailing. There's no reason why a sailing boat can't so, provide solutions for uh, future problems that we haven't quite confronted yet. One day sailing boats might come back to the fore and, and the designs they use to cross oceans with or, or move cargo and people around with might be based on these concepts that we're tinkering away with in sheds like this.